Hey guys, how's it going? It's Al. Welcome back to another Zed Run video. This one is going to focus on the new people once again. If you haven't watched my fact video for the beginner's guide, do that. If you haven't watched the breeding video, definitely take a look at that one as well. But this video is going to take an extended view on the current ecosystem to let you know what you should do to start your stable in a more optimal way. I want you to know which horses to buy. I want you to know about how much you're gonna have to spend if you wanna build out the best starting stable that you possibly can with the market where it is right now. So let's say there's 14,000 unique owners of a horse. Let's say there's 2,000 people that have multiple stables right? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's 5,000. I don't know. I'm, I'm just spitballing. There's so many new horses being made every single day right now that the supply has outweighed the demand. And what you've seen as a result of that is exactly what you think you should see when that happens. Horse prices for, for the bred horses have gone way down, which makes it extremely possible and way more plausible for people to get in for cheaper and play the game which I think is personally great. And we had a whole long discussion about this in the, the horse channel in Discord. If you go to sub horses, uh, we were having this discussion with one of the subs a few days ago. I think it was BDK. And he's like, I have, you know, I was going to buy a thing, uh, an NFT, and I didn't have... Uh, and then it fell through, so I've got like 0.6 ETH. And I, it's like, I might as well get involved in, in Zed now because you guys have fun with it. So let me, you know, tell me what I should do. So, bred decent racers seem like great deals right now. That's what I was kind of showing in that tour is that you can buy a sub 8, like a sub 8.5 odds horse for like 0.5 right now. And you, it, when race times come down, you're going to have a very good chance of realizing, you know, and getting a return on that investment where it will turn profitable on you while the horse itself should maintain principal value. So it should be able to yield you a profit. That aside, If you wanted to get involved now, my suggestion would be to purchase a male Genesis horse. If you want to get involved for a cheap price, I would buy a Genesis male horse for the cheapest you can find one. Doesn't have to be a racer. If you're doing it for investment purposes, I would suggest that it be unraced. Does not have to be unbred. I can look at what the cheapest one costs right now. Listings. I really like Hawk U's. Let's say, let's say eight to 10 Genesis. I didn't even have to, I could just say Genesis and Buterin. Uh, number of races, zero. Save, sort by lowest. You can get an unraced male for 3.5-ish. Pick a color that you like. The fact that there's a black chocolate here, that's too cheap. Black chocolate is, is an awesome color. Midnight black is the most chased after. But like, find a color that you like. And like, even as you go down the list, you're not paying all that much, right? Then, beyond that, I would suggest buying three females, three executive females. 
So like, let's say 0.4 for the Genesis horse. And then you're going to buy three exclusive horses that are unraced of the same color as your Genesis male horse. Right? And the lowest price on those, those are going for like 0.1. So you're going to get out for 0.7 Ethereum. And that's not a, an insignificant amount of money. I understand that. Right? But it's also not $30,000. So you're going to have three. You can even buy raced ones if you want. Whatever. You know, raced ones are cheaper than unraced ones. So like if I take that filter off and say however many races, right? Now you're going down to like 0.06 ETH instead of 0.1, right? Like that horse is now, what? Uh, $110 as opposed to 200 and something dollars. Like you're cutting the price of the horse in half, but you're you're not giving yourself any chance at getting a, a racer out of that. But you need females. The reason is, if you get those three females that are the same color as the Genesis male that you got, you can make babies with those three females, have three shots at Supercoats every month for 35% off because you're going to breed them with your male horse where you get a 35% discount. They'll stay at exclusive and not go down to elite generation because it's bred with a Genesis horse. And you can do exactly what I've said. You can sell the babies for, you know, whatever, 0.1 each or you can keep them and race your other horses if somebody wanted to start that's how i would say start right now if you have the disposable ethereum you can get in with a full stable you know a four horse stable that would end up costing you 0.7 ethereum with the chance to produce every 30 days new horses for you to keep or horses for you to sell and make back your investment. And it would theoretically take you what? Three, four months to see a return on your investment for you to be in the black with your stable completely. If prices stay the same where they are now. Unraced Genesis, uh, he hate me like that. Unraced Genesis male, three exclusive level females of the same coat color. That would be my advice. And starting tonight and tomorrow, because all those babies that I had showed you, all my legendary horse babies that I made on day one of breeding, 28, 30 days ago, whatever that was, they all unlock. So all those legendary babies from a month ago, they unlock today. Which means that there's going to be a market flood of exclusive horses in the next 48 hours. So that price of an unraced and possibly unnamed, where you can even name your own exclusive baby horse, is going to go down from point one, Because there's going to be 5,000 more that are going to hit the market in the next 48 hours. So if you want to get in, that would be my advice on how to get in in the cheapest way possible. And yes, I understand that a $1,500 investment in fake digital horses is not nothing. You can do it with one. You can get one male and one female, same color, Genesis male, exclusive female, keep making exclusive level babies, and then it would cost 0.4, so it would be $900. It's not a cheap game. We never, I've never sat here pretending it was a cheap game. And I understand that some people can't afford that, and that's fine. You don't have to play horsey games. But 
That is the cheapest optimal strat that I think you can get in with. Male Genesis, three female exclusives, same coat color. Because if you breed them and you get a super coat exclusive, you can sell it unnamed and unraced and unbred for a little bit of a premium. You can get like 0.15, maybe 0.2 if it's a fancy color. You know, if it's a color that people want. The females sell for 10% or more higher, 10 to 20% higher than the males. So if you get a female baby, you sell the, you get a little bit of a premium. You get a super coat, you get a little bit of a premium. Super coat Philly, you get a double premium. And you can make your money back. And hopefully one of the, don't race the Genesis horse, just breed the Genesis horse. Don't race the male that you buy. Keep that one unraced because that will hold its value. But you can breed it all you want. And you get a 35% discount for breeding with your own stable. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in the $1 trap. <laughs> like I said, I know that this information, there's 70 people in here. I know it's not for all 70 of y'all. But I'm sure there's like three or five of you who are like, I kind of want to do the horsey game because it looks fun. That would be my optimal strategy on how to get in. Buy at least one female. You can breed the male three times every 30 days. So if you buy three females, you make three babies with the male Every 30 days, you sell them. The females can make one baby every 30 days. You sell them. That's the way to go if you want to start a stable. If you're interested in the game and you want to learn your way around while still giving yourself a chance to see a very realistic return on your principal investment that you first make, that would be the way that I would go. So if anybody was interested in it and is thinking about it, I hope that that helps you. He's a legend.